been a long time. Quite a while, actually. I think well over a year since I've done a Master Replicas unboxing video. And today, we have our first signature edition MR prop. But this is not just a normal signature edition. No siree. It is unnumbered. Not even artist proof. But it's Luke Skywalker's lightsaber hilt from episode 4. Yes, the very first lightsaber we saw activated in 1977. Even though I never had the joyful experience of witnessing that in theaters. But anyways, this one is an extremely rare item because there are 750 signature editions that were released to the public and all the plaques that have Mark Hamill's signature on it uh, has a number underneath it saying it's number, you know, like 6 out of 750. Anyways, aside from that, they had artist-proof plaques, but they also had... And it's very, very rare. Uh, signed plaques. That's a signature edition only for special people within the Master Replicas company. Or, for example, one to give to the actor that signed the plaque. Or one to give to the CEO or, or the marketing manager or whatever. Anyways, it's an unnumbered plaque. And these are extremely rare. Almost as rare as the artist proofs. In fact, even rarer. Because these were given out to very few members within the company. So, this is my most rarest lightsaber prop I have ever had a chance to own. It is the most expensive. I paid a fortune for this. I'm not going to say what I paid, but it was a lot of money and something I won't be doing fairly often. But, uh, Luke Skywalker has had a great influence on my life growing up as a kid and uh, Thankfully, I was very fortunate and have enough income to be able to get one of these So I did it as Star Wars is a big part of my childhood growing up and I want something that can remind me of that and show those people that know me extremely well of my love for Star Wars and how far I go with Star Wars. So let's get on with the unboxing, everyone, and let's go. So this is the packaging for the prop and if we look on the corner of the box here you're going to see that it says SW-148S, S meaning signature edition. It's not as bad as I thought it would be to take it out of the box, but... So we'll just bring the camera around here so you can see.
So this is where our certificate of authenticity and paperwork is. This envelope here, we're gonna check that out in a minute. So here is the lightsaber hilt from episode 4. As you can see, it is similar to the Empire Strikes Back version, which there is an unboxing video for that. As you could say, as you could see here, it says Singer's Tradition on the back. It's just a beautiful prop. So what we got in the bottom here is the stand for the display case. And the main resistance. There it is, guys. Let the camera try to focus on that. Star Wars Episode 4 A New Hope, Luke Skywalker's lightsaber, signature edition, unnumbered, signed by Mark Hamill. that there there it is man isn't that awesome And like the biggest difference is actually quite a bit of it is that on the episode four hilt, you could see that on between the difference between four and five is and five Luke's hilt has got a circuit board. This one has got the bubble from a Texas calculator. The uh, the grips here don't have the rivets in between each one of them, while the Empire does. other differences as well but I'll do a video on comparing the two of them eventually I think that'd be really cool I just want to get Anakin's from Revenge of the Sith so let's open up our paperwork so this is a little uh, catalog of everything that they've done. Master replicas. So here's what we got. We have the certificate. Authenticity. 
official prop replica signature edition by Mark Hamill. Now, unfortunately, on the earlier signature editions, it was the certificate was a lot nicer. Like, if you say, for example, the Empire Strikes Back signature edition, it would have a picture of Mark Hamill actually signing the plaque. They didn't do it for this one, unfortunately, but apparently a lot of people complained about it, and they came out with a card, I bring it up in the video here, that did show Mark Hamill signing it, but I don't think everybody got one, and I think since this one was given out to a staff member within the company, uh, I don't think it was needed for him to get one, because, well, they know that Mark signed it, so, but, but yeah, that's, uh, And all that's here is just a little uh, cloth to clean the saber or the case or whatever. Okay, last thing to do before it goes on display is the cover. Oh my goodness. And here it is, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I am just amazed that I have this. And it's in mint condition, like the previous owner told me it was. It's everything that I was hoping it to be. Uh, like I said, the only sad part was I didn't get the, the Mark Hamill insert card for it, but that's okay. And considering that there's uh, very few uh, unnumbered plaque signature editions out there, extremely rare, I'm just ecstatic that I actually own one of these. It's unbelievable. And I'm kind of hoping one day I'll get the the Luke Skywalker version 2 signature edition, Simon Mark Hamill as well. I don't know how I'm going to get the resources to get that, but I'm working on it. But yeah, everyone, I'm sorry if this video came out to be pretty clumsy because I got so much to do right now in real life, so I couldn't put the effort into it like I did in my other unboxing videos. But I'm glad that I was able to share this one with all of you. So, uh, you guys take it easy and take care.